Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. It's March 1st and being a new month that means that sensor tower data for last month for February has updated and we have the numbers for Warcraft Rumble's performance. So how did Warcraft Rumble do in February and oh, oh, oh. Well, on iOS, Rumble was downloaded 80,000 times, which is 120,000 times less than in January, and it generated 1 million in revenue, which is 1 million less than in January. And on Android devices, Rumble was downloaded 60,000 times, which is down by 340,000 downloads from January. Wow, more iOS downloads than Android downloads. I, I have hardly ever seen that. That's really, really rare because Android is much more widely used. iOS tends to be US dominated. So, okay, Rumble US market is doing a little bit better than other markets then. And Android, $1 million in revenue, minus $1 million. So, overall, in February, Rumble's downloaded only 140,000 times. And it did generate 2 million in revenue. So, okay, it's still making millions. If you look at games that have been actually discontinued, well, they have something like... 2 million, 3 million over a year, over a year and a half, maybe 2 million in a single month. I'm not sure if Rumble is profitable anymore with that, but okay, it, it's not down as much, but I mean, it's going to go down inevitably unless these download numbers get better. 104,000 downloads, that is nothing. Oh boy. Well, how does Rumble do compared to other strategy games on a mobile? Now that Rumble's revenue is down to just 2 million, I can't accurately place it anymore. I have some kind of idea of its rough position, but it doesn't fit into the top 30 anymore. If we take a look at top crossing games, then Pokemon Go at 58 million <laughs> revenue in February is at top. Whiteout Survival, Last War Survival, Clash of Clans, PUBG Mobile, Ebony, pretty much the usual suspects. Clash Royale is there at 15 million, minus 2 million from January, but still 15 million. It's closest equivalent to Rumble. And then we have stuff like Marvel Snap making 5 million. We have stuff like Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel making 6 million. League of Legends Wild Rift making 7 million. Yeah, Rumble's 2 million. Well, where does that 2 million really go? If we take a look at category rankings, this is Android strategy games in the US, then we can see that during February, Rumble has actually been fairly stable. It already started going down in late January, and it has now reached a fairly stable level, so revenue-wise, top crossing game strategy, it has consistently been in the top 50. So even though it doesn't fit in the top 30, it's still something like a top 50, uh, top earning, top crossing strategy game on mobile. And downloads are actually up a little bit towards the end of the month. Well, Rumble had lots of bug issues and those bug issues, those crashes have largely been corrected, which means that the game is again more enticing to new players. So, all right, numbers are a little bit up, but not by a whole lot. So overall, what can I say about February for Rumble? Rumble's revenue still holds somewhat. Revenue per new download is actually sky high. But the drop in downloads is alarming and these revenues cannot hold indefinitely. And actually even Hearthstone is downloaded now more on mobile than Rumble is. That's not great. 140,000 for Rumble and a little bit more for Hearthstone. And if we take a look at the closest competition, Clash Royale is an old game and it still gets around 2 million downloads per month. So yeah, Rumble is alarmingly far away from that. But can Rumble recover? Well, yes, obviously, obviously Rumble can recover. Nothing has been lost in that sense. The stability of the game has been improved a lot. The game does not crash much anymore. So Blizzard has managed to do this emergency, emergency fixes so that the game functions better. All right, that's nice. They have also made one move to improve the in-game economy so far. They lowered the reroll costs for the army slots. Will these changes continue? Because Blizzard notoriously tries to keep their games as expensive as possible as long as possible. But now they probably need to start working on Rumble's economy in order to entice more people to play the game, make it easier to play. And lower reroll costs, okay, that's one thing. Was that a one-time thing? Is this going to continue? That's something that I really am going to keep an eye on, because if this continues, if this trend continues and they are going to improve the in-game economy, then that's obviously great news for players. 
Also, when are we going to get some of the new content that was shown at BlitzCon four months ago? Moonglade, Scholomance, Molten Core. We haven't gotten any of the new content that was displayed four months ago, and that's ages ago. So next week, next week is going to be the start of Rumble Season 4, and the patch for next week, I'm definitely going to keep an eye on. Are there going to be in-game economy upgrades, improvements? Is any of the new content coming? I mean, we have to get at least something. Preferably, we would need both of these to get Rumble back on the right track. But because the teasers so far have not shown any new content, I mean, Witch Doctor is coming, a new mini is coming, but nothing else, then it looks like March is also going to be pretty rough for Rumble. If they make significant in-game economy upgrades, then yeah, that might entice some people to play. Hey, come on, it's it's more free to play now. Okay, that could be something, even if there's no new content. Are we going to get any of that? Next week, next week is going to be pretty crucial for Rumble. We'll see how it goes, but yeah. On the bright side, Rumble does seem to have reached the bottom. The numbers haven't gone down anymore during the entire February. They are, they are now at this level. So yeah, I keep hoping for the best. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.